the state of Illinois, the only state that has two state fairs. And fortunately, both of those state fairs offer excellent mile racetracks. In addition, we have the beautiful mile track at Balmoral, which ranks among the best in the world. And one of, one of the fastest half mile tracks in the Maywood Park facility. This state offers more than 40 county fairs that race harness horses. And this year we have seen a number of two minute miles over those county fair tracks, including one in 55-2, which ties the national record for a county fair track that came at Rushville, Illinois. So we're proud of the racing opportunities in this state. Right now the Hayes Memorial offers $40,000, and here are the five three-year-old fillies. One is finished first fancy on my finished first stables of Monroe Center, Illinois. Brian Pinsky trains Dave McGee drives. Two, Madeline, on by Denise Dennis of Indianapolis, Phyllis Edwards of Greenfield, Indiana. Jeff Edwards trains and drives. Three, Armbro View, on by Tanamara Farms, Limited Liability Corporation of Felton, Delaware. Irvin Miller, the trainer, John Campbell in the bike. Four, Ruby's Beach, on by Brian Pinsky Stable Inc. of Downers Grove by White Birch Farm of Allentown, New Jersey. Brian Pinsky trains and drives. And five, Abby's Alibi, on by Dale Decker of Ottawa Lake, Michigan by Jeff Grimes of Erie, Michigan. Grant Wilfong trains and Dale Decker is the driver. Now they're at the post and the gate is rolling. Here they come. They're off and pacing on the inside. Madeline first away. Dropped in quickly. Second finish first fancy. Third on the outside. Armbro view. Getting away four is Ruby's Beach. Out the back is Abby's alibi as that field slips around the turn racing toward at the quarter mile mark. They're being led by Madeline and Jeff Edwards by a length and a half, getting the trip finished first fancy. Third, now to the outside on the move. There goes Armbro View, the presidential ball filly, racing past fillies, was third, now second. Now she's the leader before the quarter. Armbro View takes over for Campbell. Picking up cover will be Madeline second. Third behind her is finished first fancy. Four, Ruby Beach, five down the back stretch is Abby's alibi. Front panel 29-1. They're racing toward the half. And now controlling the pace of this one is Armbro View and John Campbell. The sport's leading money-winning driver, more than $180 million won by Campbell, and he's got the lead by a length and a quarter. Racing behind him, second is Madeline, third down the backside, finish, first fancy. Fourth is Ruby Beach, five still is Abby's Alibi. As they race past the half, they reach that point in 58-1 off a leisurely half. They're in the upper turn, and the leader is Armbro View. She'll head them toward three quarters. Nobody moving on the leader. Everybody content to ride single file as they drive around the upper turn. And second now, Madeline Anxious racing third behind her is finished first fancy. First to move is Ruby's Beach. Here she comes for Penske. Behind her is Abby's Alibi. Three in, two out. They're racing toward three quarters. The leader, Armbro View, on the outside, ranging up. Here comes Ruby's Beach. She'll sweep two wide coming three wide is Abby's alibi at the three quarter 126 four top of the lane they turn for home Armbro view on the inside with Campbell pursuing her Ruby's Beach second and the final eighth mile leading the way Armbro view Ruby's Beach is second Abby's alibi is third finished first fancy fourth they race to the wire Armbro view has it her way driving down the lane Ruby's Beach is second Armbro view is going to slip home the winner for John Campbell by three lengths Ruby's Beach was two, Abby's Alibi three, home four was finished first fancy, five is Madeline. 153-4 in that one. Here's the winner of that race, four Pacers, owned by the Tanamara Farms Limited Liability Corporation of Felton, Delaware, trained at Springfield, Illinois by Irvin Miller, Driven by John Campbell, Armbro View. Irvin and Heidi Miller are now ready to accept the race trophy from Jane and Carol. Jane's father was Gene Hayes, Carol's father, Don Hayes.